Hello everyone! In this video we're going to draw Mickey Mouse. Start by drawing a circle as a guide for the head. To draw the circle, make two small marks to indicate the circle's length. And on the sides, make two more small marks to indicate the circle's width. Then just connect the marks using curved lines to finish the shape of the circle. Sketch lightly at first so that it's easy to erase if you make a mistake. Also pause the video to draw at your own pace. The circle doesn't have to be perfect, but if you're having trouble drawing it, just trace the outer edge of a cup or a bowl or anything else with a circular edge. Inside the head, draw a long vertical line. This is a construction line that will help you place the facial features later on. Place this line close to the left edge of the circle. It helps if you make a small mark first to indicate where the line will be. Curve the line so that it contours to the shape of the circle. Near the middle of the shape, draw a horizontal line for another construction guide. Curve this line slightly as well. Pay attention to the placement of these two construction lines. To the left of the head, draw a small circle as a guide for the muzzle. Use the four marks method to draw this circle too. Pay attention to how far away the mark on the left is to the head. The marks for the top and bottom of this small circle should be close to the horizontal guide. Connect the marks using short curved lines to complete the shape of the small circle. The right side of the circle should be inside of the head and the left side should be outside of the head. Now high above the top right side of the head, make a small mark for the first part of the ear. And then on the sides, make two more small marks for the sides of the ear. Pay attention to the placement of these marks to get the correct shape of the ear. And then, just like before, connect the marks using curved lines to create a circle. Remember to sketch lightly at first so that it's easy to erase if you make a mistake. On the right side of the head, draw the guide for the other ear the same way. First make a small mark far off to the right side for the side of the ear. And then make two more marks for the top and bottom of the ear. The right edge of the head should act as the fourth mark. And then just connect the marks using curved lines to create the shape of the circle. And that's it for the guidelines. Now let's start on the final drawing. Inside the head near the left side, draw a long oval for the first eye. To the right of the vertical construction guide, make two small marks for the length of the oval. And then on the sides, make two more small marks for the width of the oval. Then connect the marks together using curved lines to create the shape of the oval. Use the initial construction lines as guides to help you place the oval inside the head. To the left of the vertical construction guide, draw another oval for the other eye. The oval for the eye on the left should be smaller than the oval for the eye on the right. The oval on the left should fit snugly in the area between all the guides. Inside the eyes, draw even smaller circles for the pupils. Draw the pupils close to the lower right edges of the eyes. The pupil on the left should be slightly smaller. And then just shade in the pupils. On top of the muzzle, draw a big oval for the nose. Just like before, start with two small marks to indicate the length of the nose. And then draw two more small marks for the sides of the nose. Connect the marks using curved lines to complete the shape. The shape of the nose should be slightly tilted to the left. The bottom part of the nose should be inside the muzzle. Use the small initial circle as a guide to draw the rest of the muzzle. Darken the bottom part of the circle, but then continue drawing the line inside the head for the top part of the mouth. Curve this line inside the head so that it almost touches the horizontal construction guide. This line should end almost in the middle of the circle, 
Don't drive too far off to the right. At the top of the line, draw a shorter curved line for a smile line. Below the smile, draw a shorter curved line for the bottom half of the open mouth. The bottom part of the open mouth should touch the lower edge of the big initial circle. Below the open mouth, draw another curved line for the lower lip. Follow the curvature of the open mouth as you draw the lower lip. The lower lip should be below the bottom edge of the big circle. Inside the open mouth, draw a couple of short curved lines for the tongue. And now use the remaining circles as guides to draw the rest of the head and the ears. Darken the outer edges of the initial circles to create the shape of the head and the ears. Don't darken the lines where the ears meet the head. At this point, you can fix the shape of the ears. You can make them smaller if you made them too big, or bigger if you made them too small. Draw the bottom part of the head farther inside the big initial circle. Inside the head, draw the lines that separate the colors, also known as the mask line. First draw a small peak at the top of the vertical construction guide. And then draw a big arc around the eye on the right. And now draw an even bigger arc around the smile. These two arcs will create a peak near the middle of the head, right above the horizontal construction guide. Sketch lightly at first so that you get all the arcs right. And then when you get the arcs right, darken the lines. Go over the final sketch lines with a pen, a marker, or any other type of permanent ink. The next few steps are sped up so that the video won't be too long. Take your time and be careful when you ink your drawing to avoid any accidents. Don't ink the initial guidelines, only the final drawing. After the ink dries, get rid of every pencil mark with an eraser for a cleaner drawing. And now color your drawing. Use peach for the face, or the area to the left of the mask line. Use black for the nose, the head, and the ears. If you want, you can leave a small circle inside the nose blank to represent shine, or just color the whole thing black. Don't overlap the left side of the face as you color the head. Use dark red for the inside of the mouth and pink for the tongue. And that's it for Mickey. Don't forget to pause the video to draw at your own pace. Also, please visit easydrawingtutorials.com where every step of this tutorial is broken down into an individual image. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and a comment. Also, subscribe for more videos in the future. Thank you for watching, and until next time, keep drawing.